I've seen so much lately about the future of AI with robots writing YouTube video scripts, blog posts, and college term papers. But can a robot really design something? I'm curious to test out how well AI design looks and if I can actually use this technology to create product designs for a print-on-demand store. For this experiment, I'm going to be trying out Canva's new text-to-image app that apparently all you have to do is type out an image description and it will quickly create the image for you to use. It does this by going through the images on the internet and using it as source material to pull from to create the new image. So to be honest, it kind of feels like stealing work from other artists to me. I'm not really sure how I feel about it just yet, but that's probably a discussion I will save for another day or a heated YouTube comment section. So let's just put a pin on that for now and try out Canva's new tool to see how well AI designs can actually turn out. Okay, so we are inside my Canva account now and I'm under apps over here on the left hand side and you can see here is the text to image. I think it might be a Canva Pro feature, but if you're interested in trying out a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro, I'll put my affiliate link in the description below. I absolutely love Canva. You can do so many design things, which I'll show you in just a second with their software, but you can also schedule out your social media, create PDFs, create designs, logos, all these cool things inside of Canva. So I really highly recommend checking it out. Um, but we're just gonna click on text to image. So first we just describe the image that you want to see and try and add in as much detail as possible. Let's see, they've got a couple different things of inspiration. Um, and then we can also choose our style. So in terms of thinking through what kind of a best-selling product it could be for print on demand, a lot of times I find success in the niche of pets and animals, as well as career focused. So I'm gonna create two different ideas around that and we can stylize it um, to create the design. So let's just say for this first one, let's go pets um and let's just try it out okay so i'm gonna say something like uh retro design cat with sunglasses and let's just see how that works again um i am seeing a lot of retro designs as a trend here lately so we're going to tie into that cat with sunglasses we could add some additional text in there so let's see the different styles they have Photo drawing, 3D painting. Painting could be cool. Um, okay, let's just check it with painting and see what we get. We'll hit generate image. And it just takes a second here to create the images. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> sometimes I was testing it out a little bit and sometimes there are some weird ones for sure. Oh. Those look pretty good. Okay, this one's a little bit interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is here. I'm finding if anything with AI design, you can get some weird elements. Um, like not sure what that is, but that top cat, I guess. Um, let's do generate more. See what we get a second time around. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's happening in some of these because they're just a little off. Like you can just see the perception, their perspective is a little off and a weird neck and um, yeah, what, what it, what's happening here? A side of a sunglass? Uh, I'm not sure on that one. Something went awry. <laughs> um, yeah, a little off, but let's just say start again and we'll try it with a different style maybe okay and this time around let's do photo maybe that gives us different results there are definitely some ai software programs out there that can create really fantastical images and designs um, but i kind of wanted to use something that would be a little bit more um, user friendly and available more to the general public plus a lot of those are paid um, so kind of just wanted to test it out a little bit um, okay i think it may not know the word retro for this that's kind of a fun one um, but it's hard to see with all of that so let's go again let's just say cat wearing sunglasses we'll say start again and you know what? Surprise me. 
Okay, yeah, like this right here, this makes me less concerned that AI is coming for my design job. Um, so not as scared. This pattern's interesting. Um, <laughs> I really don't understand what's happening there though. There's so many interesting bits. Okay, let's try this image though. That's not half bad. <laughs> I just feel like it's so funny. Okay, or we could do this one here. Um, let's just play around with it. Let's just go with this one for now. I'm just going to drag the corners, move it around a little bit. Okay, now we can use Canvas software to finish creating out our design. So we can click on this and click on edit image. And again, these may be some pro features, but one that I really love is this background remover. This is legit. So let's see if it can do its magic or if I just jinxed myself. Ah, see, mm, that is pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so it's crazy that it can do it that fast. So we could just come in for a design. We could put this here. Now let's add a retro. So let's say start again and we'll say retro sunrise. Oh, oh. Um, let's try painting again. No, let's just do drawing. I think painting was throwing it off. And we can do a background element there and then try some text or something um, and to create our final design. So we've got our cat waiting on our background. Okay, that could work. Mm, I guess this is a drawing. Um, that is kind of what I said. So let's add this. Maybe this will work for me. Uh, you know what, it's fine. We'll just try it out. Okay, so I've selected that background remover. Oh my gosh, it just, it shocks me every time that it can do that. Okay, we'll just come in, make this a little bigger. Okay, send it to the back. Oh my goodness, this is just going to be nice. We've got our cat. Oh gosh. Okay, so we've got our cat there. Now let's add some text. Um, let's see if we can come up with a retro font. Um, let's just say cool cat. much bigger. Best selling design? I don't know. Probably needs some more work. Um, but it's definitely fun to play around with and create something here. You could then, if you wanted to try this out, you could then hit share and you can download the image here. Definitely do a transparent background. You can also do a different size as well um, and download it from there and upload it to whatever print on demand provider that you're using. So let's just go ahead and let's create a different design now. Let's go back to text to image and let's do something uh, more career focused. So. This time around, let's see, let's do something career focused. I find things with like teachers or nurses can do really well. So let's say, um, hmm, let's say boho stethoscope. Is that how you spell? No, that's not how you spell stethoscope. There you go. Thank you. Um, wrapped around coffee cup. 
because you know they're nurses and they're tired let's see maybe a drawing let's see if ai knows the word boho because retro didn't really know as much okay so these just look like pictures and again, not sure what's happening there. Um, hmm. Yeah. Let's see. These are all just coming out a bit weird. So let's just start again. We'll take off the word boho. I think maybe the design terms are, are making it not sure. Um, let's just do, no. Should I do surprise me? Or let's do 3D pattern. Let's see what pattern looks like. We haven't tried pattern yet. Maybe that's what's missing. We needed a pattern. Yeah, I don't think the pattern was what it was. Uh, okay, start again. Try again. Let's see. We're going to say stethoscope wrapped around. Let's be more specific. Starbucks coffee mug. We'll say and let's see maybe 3d it is kind of fun to play around with I'm not gonna lie I could definitely find myself doing this for like hours um, thinking of different unique things to it type in in Google so not going to say that this is going to completely replace designers. Um, clearly, we're a bit far away from that. Um, however, it is interesting to play around with and just check out some different things. Okay, so this just did the Starbucks mug and left off the stethoscope. What in the world is happening here? What What is that? I, I'm not sure. <sighs> not sure at all. <laughs> okay yeah let's take out Starbucks that's gonna throw it um, surprise me just surprise me we'll see but yeah I think it could be a good way to start playing around with some designs and obviously you can create your print-on-demand design inside of Canva and build it out here, especially if you're doing personalized products where you would come in and actually like put the name, uh, someone's name underneath it, like David's cat or whatever it is. I could see where having Canva can be really helpful for that of just quickly being able to personalize it and then save the photos um, and upload that. But I would not say so far that it's going to replace it. Who knows? Maybe I'm just Googling the wrong things or typing the wrong things, but the stethoscope is going into the coffee and this just looks like poop. Um, so <laughs> not quite sure. Let's just see what their prompts are. A light watercolor painting of koi fish in a pond. Oh, well, that sounds nice. Let's see what that looks like. Drenary image. I'm guessing though, since these are the prompts by Canva, um, Canva probably knows that these look better than just any random request you can type in. So these might look a little bit um, more curated. So we'll see. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's looking better. Maybe it was me. Maybe I just wasn't searching the right things. Um, who knows? I could definitely see you could do something like this. Um, maybe not koi fish as much, but you could do some kind of design like this for a coffee mug and have it wrap around or like an art painting on a wall. This could totally be like a wall art painting. Um, I'm not sure what the koi fish market is. Also not sure why this fish has a tail coming out of its face. Um, but you know, uh, I think AI still has a little bit to go there, but very fun to test around and make some edits create some different designs. Again, I think especially with Canva tools, you can go in and you know remove backgrounds, add different images in, add text, perfect it to be where it's a little bit more stylized, not just taking this image specifically and then putting it on print on demand, but still using it to create a different kind of design inside of Canva that you can use. So I would say maybe robot design is like a 
plus, C minus, I don't know. Okay, I've got to know, what are your thoughts on AI design technology and would you consider using it to create images for your products or marketing? Comment below and let me know. And if you want to see how you can turn your new design into 20 new print-on-demand products with Printful, then check out this video right over here.